Well, safety matters, and with temperatures scorching, people are enjoying area swimming pools, but with that comes the potential for drowning. As NBC6's Miriam Samake explains, certified swim instructors warn that drownings can be a silent killer. When people think of drowning, they imagine something loud, with flailing arms and screaming for help. The sad reality is it's more quiet and sudden than we think. You'll generally notice the person swimming vertically as if they're trying to get upwards and they'll be bobbing at around eye level most of the time. So it looks like swimming, but it's not and they're not really moving anywhere and they certainly can't get to air. Burnett is certified in infant swimming for children ages six months to six years. She says most children require correction because of flotation devices. It's extremely detrimental to their safety. Not only does it reinforce those bad swimming postures that we've talked about, the drowning position, but it also reinforces a false sense of security in the water and it convinces them that they have abilities that they simply don't have. Because of how silent drowning is, spotting it can be difficult, especially in a busy pool. We train lifeguards, we teach them oftentimes to look, look at their faces because even if they can't scream, if they can't do anything, the surprise in their eyes says it all. They're afraid. If you do see someone drowning, instructors say to not go in yourself, no matter how skilled in swimming you are, because they can pull you down out of fear. If no lifeguards are present, you can reach in with a flotation device or anything the person can grab onto. It, we have so much water in Louisiana. It's a what? It's just a. It's a safety thing. It's not just a fun thing. It's a safety thing. You should always, always learn how to swim. So, swim lessons are so very important. Miriam Samake, NBC Six News. Great advice there, Miriam. Thank you.